Normally, launching a meme token costs a fortune. Sol is expensive, and without experience, it's ridiculously easy to lose your coins. Most people give up before even starting. Think about it. You throw 20, 50, even 100 Sol into a token hoping for a moonshot. Most of the time, it tanks before you even blink. The stress, fees, and gas costs make it frustrating, and sometimes not worth it at all. This is exactly why liquidity rental exists. It allows creators to launch a token, make it look credible, and attract buyers without huge upfront investment. Here's the game changer, liquidity rental on launch on launch. This feature lets you boost your token's market presence without spending tons of sol. It works like this. Instead of investing 20 to 100 sol into a coin, you rent liquidity, which increases your token's capitalization and makes it appear stable and credible. The market sees liquidity, bots react, and early buyers gain confidence. It's essentially a low-cost hack for visibility and early momentum, perfect for creators who want control without risking massive capital. Here's everything you need to know. Liquidity Rental is a powerful tool to boost your token's credibility without massive upfront investment. The bigger your pool looks, the more attractive your token appears to buyers and bots, increasing early traction. Why use Liquidity Rental? Test token ideas without risking huge capital boost perceived market cap for buyer confidence. Combine with small strategic buybacks to maintain momentum. Control token perception while minimizing risk. Step 1. Create your token on launch on launch. I'm making streamer coin, ticker streamer. Logo? Already done. But if you don't have one, you can generate it right on the platform using AI prompts. When creating your token, it's crucial to configure security features properly. Launch on launch provides three revoke functions, and enabling them is non-negotiable. Revoke Mint Authority. This prevents anyone, even you accidentally, from minting extra tokens. It locks the supply and protects against inflation, which is critical for building trust. Revoke Freeze Authority. Ensures that wallets holding your token cannot be frozen. This guarantees that early buyers or community members always retain access to their tokens. Revoke Metadata Authority. Locks the token name and logo so no one can create a fake version of your token. This is especially important if your token gains traction quickly. Enabling these revoke functions is essential for credibility, trust, and professional-grade token management. Skipping these steps can lead to security risks, fake copies, or even market manipulation, which could ruin a launch before it starts. I also recommend whale address substitution, a little trick that makes your token appear as if it's backed by a major fund or investor. Early buyers and bots react differently to these addresses, often generating more traction and volume in the first minutes. When all of these settings are applied, click Create Token, approve the small phantom transaction fees, it might pop up a couple of times, and bam, our token finally exists on the blockchain. It's that satisfying moment, seeing your creation live, real, and ready for action. Once your token is created, always check it on SoulScan. Confirm the token exists, verify the supply, and ensure that all revoke settings are applied. SoulScan gives you transparency and peace of mind. Now comes the critical step, renting liquidity. Here's how it works on launch on launch. Go to create LP and select your token, streamer coin, choose your pool size. I'm using 10 sol, large enough to look legitimate, small enough for early buyers to participate. Important, your wallet should have only the funds needed. 0.2 sol for rental plus 0.19 sol for radium listing. Launch on launch and radium handle the pool automatically with this amount. Click create LP and approve in phantom. Your token is now tradable and visible, even without massive investment. Launch on Launch becomes a full toolkit for low-cost, professional-grade token launches. Now that our token has now liquidity, we are going to check it out on Deck Screener. Once you're there, paste the token address from SoulScan and look at your cursed newborn you have created. Refresh the page. First buys hit $138 and $23. Green candle flickers. My heart races. I can't help but whisper. It's actually happening. Miner sell $140. I pause. Don't panic. Momentum is still strong. Another buy $139. I lean closer to the screen thinking, okay, people are definitely noticing this token. Then shock. $158, eyes wide, adrenaline spikes. I mutter, no way, is this really happening? $164, a couple of minutes later, I literally thought that it is so over. I feel like I'm on a nonstop profit train. I laugh, half in disbelief, half in excitement. Next, $184, I throw my hands up, this is insane, momentum is real. 
Now this is really going well for us. Small buys follow. $11, $21, then $23. Thanks to rented liquidity, the token remains tradable and credible, giving early buyers confidence and letting the momentum carry naturally. This was awesome now that we have full bag of Sol packed in our pool. I guess we might want to pull the plug. Now comes the most critical moment, closing the pool. This is where your strategy and patience pay off. Take a look at the green PNL bar at 28%. It's not just a number, it's the tangible result of every choice you made. Your token creation, the liquidity rental, the whale address substitution, and your careful monitoring of the market. Click close pool. But before confirming, take a deep breath and double check everything in Phantom. Make sure your wallet is ready and you see the exact amount that will be transferred. This is not the time to rush. Mistakes here could lock your profit indefinitely. Confirm the transaction in Phantom and watch as Sol flows into your wallet. Seeing 2.7 Sol net appear while you've barely finished your coffee is incredibly satisfying. It's a combination of relief, excitement, and pride. All that planning and execution translating into real, usable profit. It's important to remember, without clicking close pool, gains stay locked. This step is essential for turning rented liquidity liquidity into real profit. Let's step back and reflect on why liquidity rental on launch on launch is such a game-changing feature. It's not just about making a token tradable, it's about creating credibility, attracting early buyers, and controlling your own market narrative. With rented liquidity, you can simulate a higher market cap without huge upfront capital, give bots and buyers confidence through perceived stability, monitor real-time market reactions and adjust your strategy capture momentum and lock in profit with precision. The key here is control and strategy. You are the architect of your token's launch. You decide the pool size, enable whale substitution for psychological credibility, apply revoke functions for security, and choose the perfect moment to close the pool. All these steps combine to turn a small budget token launch into a professional market-ready event.